Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Henry Weinhards. Uh, we have a vanilla cream, black cherry cream. And root beer. These were 99 cents each at Jungle Gems. They are actually made in Fort Worth, Texas. And I did not know because Kevin and I aren't drinkers. When I did a search for Henry Weinhardt, it came up with like beer. So that's, that's what uh, I think that name is famous for is beer. It says this is a gourmet vanilla cream soda handcrafted with the flavors of natural honey and vanilla. I'm really glad that they give a description on the label. So many drinks don't, and so that is nice that they do that. Uh, it is 180 calories, and it said something union made. Union made and uh, no caffeine in these either. Oh yeah. That, if you've ever had cream soda or like a, a big red, it that reminds me of um, of a big red even. It's a good cream soda. It's not the best cream soda I've had, but uh, it is good. Uh huh. It's very sweet. I think the vanilla is lacking a little bit and maybe a little sweetness. I, I like that a lot. Because usually cream sodas are like over the top sweet. That one does not. Like it's not of. over the top sweet, but I like it enough to where I would get it again. Yeah, it's still very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's I like that a lot. This is the black cherry cream, a gourmet black cherry cream soda handcrafted with the flavors of black cherry, black raspberry, and mm. bourbon vanilla. It's 170 calories. The twist off, but I'm not tearing my hand up. <laughs> Use my sleeve. <laughs> I like that because it does have that creamy flavor. Um, it's not, it's not as harsh as a typical black cherry is because it does have that underlying cream. I like that. Um, I do too. It's not a pure black cherry though. No, you it's can not. Tell it's not pure. I would rather have just pure black cherry. Kevin loves black cherry um, because it's kind of tainted by the other flavors, but it's good. I'd rather have just black cherry though. For me. I'll, I can understand what he's saying because he really likes black cherry. He's a purist where that's concerned. But for me, I won't drink a lot of black cherry because it does have that little bit of a harshness. So for me, that cream works. It yeah. makes me want to drink it more. Well, and it's got the raspberry and stuff like that in there too. So. I, yeah, I, I think they did a really good job with that one It's too. good. It's, now, it's good. root beer. Had a lot of root beer lately, so this will be interesting. A gourmet soda handcrafted with natural and artificial flavors, including sassafras, vanilla, and honey. It's 180 calories. It's good. It's got a little bite in the end of it. That would be the one that I would not get again. I don't, I, it's not like it's terrible, it's but okay. it does have, it has more bite than I would like and less sweet. It does. At the end. So, at the, you know, at the end where you want to taste more sweetness after you swallowed it, you want all that left in your mouth, you have more of that, uh, almost a bitter in your mouth. I agree. Um, so it is not bad, but it's just not. It's not as good as the other ones. Compared to other root beers we've had, yeah. So I like all of these. I like all of them. Too. Uh, they're, the, none of them are bad. Uh, but which one would I buy again after uh, having all of these? Over and over again, I would buy the uh, vanilla. Vanilla cream. Although I really do like the black, the black cherry, the vanilla cream for me is overall the best. And I would skip the root beer just because I would buy a different root beer. Um, I'd probably do the black cherry if I had to choose one. Although I probably wouldn't buy any of these. You again, wouldn't buy honestly. any of them, right. Um, if I had to, I'd pick the black cherry. The black cherry. They're just not for you. No, it just, they're, they're, I don't know. There's just something, there's better versions of all of these. Right. <laughs> well, if you live in the Texas area and you see this brand around, let us know how you feel about them. 
Um, especially if you've tried other brands compared to these. You know, if you were raised on this brand, then you probably have a great appreciation for it. But with Kevin and I, we've been trying a lot lately. And so when you have a lot more to compare it to, it, it, it's helpful. It helps you out. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.